you're very welcome back to the Daily Rundown. Now remember, if you want to get in touch or have any comments on any of the stories we're covering this evening, do tweet us at the Daily Rundown. Now it's something to say time. So this is the time where I hand over uh, by, by the mic. What, what would you say? Hand over the power I said last time. Yeah. I don't know. Was power, do you like that one? It's a platform. Yay. Yay. The platform is yours either way. <laughs> um, so Wendy and Stephen, you're going to tell us something that uh, is on your mind. This yeah, evening. who's going to yeah. go first? Well, I, I was going to kick off Late. tonight because there's been two reports in the press this week about the gender pay gap, and I thought I might just talk that through because I'm a kind of specialist in this. So I've done a big report, and we're waiting for the report to be released on the Scottish pay gap, which is a little bit lower than the rest of the UK. Um, but uh, what we do is look into the causes of it. So if I run through some of the causes, and then I'm going to do a quiz and see if you can guess Ooh. how big Ooh, the pay gap oh, is. I like yeah. Oh, I love a quiz. Yes, quiz for time. different sectors. It's it's really really big in some of the sectors, so it's quite frightening. Um, so on, on average, women get paid about 19% less than men. So it's kind of, if you had a 12 pound male wage, then women would only be getting 10 pound an hour. And that's the way we sort of calculate it. But actually men now are averaging around 14 something per hour. So that in itself is, is news mm -hmm. to a lot of people, because they're, if they're around the minimum wage level, they're with about a third of the population get less than 11 pound an hour. And then the mean is this 14 50 something figure for men and it's only about 11 pounds something for women right yeah so it's really a lot lower and whether you know we can pick on little percentages but it's a massive difference now what we do is look at why it's so much smaller so for example bonuses fewer women get bonuses and the bonuses women get are smaller as well so there's two two forms of really effective systematic or systemic discrimination against women in Britain. And in Scotland, that's, that's been emerging as a bigger problem in recent years. Um, so, so as a result, the Scottish pay gap has a big bonus component. Then there's the public and private sector. So the public sector is working for the government. Yep. And a lot of those people have a union. They have mm -hmm. a trade union of, of various kinds. So the pay gap is much smaller in the public sector, and it's bigger in the private sector. Right. Yeah, And that turns out to protect women. So because a lot of women work for government, they work in social care mm -hmm. or in schools, um, the, the lollipop people, and their wages are protected or quite low. So another thing that protects women is being near the minimum wage because that's like a wage floor. The minimum wage right now, about 7.10 per hour. Tomorrow, yeah. it's, it's really a lot lower than the average wage. And so what we do is we go through all these causes. Now there's a new cause that's been emerging. It's getting worse. It's where the firm is a larger firm, so medium to large, it's sort of over 25 employees. So you can think about where you work and try and think, well, how big is that company? Now, if your company has more than 200 employees nationally, it's going to have to report its pay gap next year. And that's why all this news is coming out right. about it. Yeah, because by April, they're going to start getting these internet pages where they're going to t really tell for big companies like Glaxo or for the government, they're going to report on these pay gaps. And um, it's, it's very revealing. So for example, the, the number of people paid over 100,000 pounds in many universities has been rising rapidly. So, so at that level of mm -hmm. 80,000 plus, uh, salaries have been just exploding like a little mushroom cloud of inequality and it's mainly men. Right. So one university about a month ago or two months ago, they gave all their female professors a pay rise with no reason given. They just said all the female professors get more money now, and it's because next it's year they the don't want to be embarrassed. Report, of course, it's yeah. going to be very embarrassing. I mean, it's also going to be very obvious yeah. <laughs> yeah. why yeah. they did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was that was Essex. So here, yeah. are you ready for your quiz? Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. okay. So we're going to go by sector by sector. I feel nervous. Oh, by the way, yes. if, if I mean I have some of this information about Scotland, right? Do you know what percentage of people in Scotland were born in England? Um, I would say 37 percent. <laughs> Is that a guess? <laughs> Not that yeah. high. I would say um, um, 11 percent. Yes, you're just about right. It's 10 percent. Right. Yeah, so really a lot of people have migrated upward into Scotland. Uh, so the two countries actually are integrated. But they, one thing they both have is a finance industry. So if you, if you merge together the sectors, IT, finance, real estate, insurance, it comes to about a quarter of the economy. It's really big. Now, how big do you think the pay gap is in that sector? I would say 17%. 
No, no. Oh, no. I read the wrong what do you think? figure of your sheet. <laughs> <laughs> He's cheating. <laughs> he knows how to get through the GCSEs. Um, oh, I'm having a... IT and finance. Well, so it's 40%. And I'm going to give you those wage levels. because 40, when, sorry, it's the difference. 40% difference between males and females. So they almost been paid yeah. double. Yeah. Wow. And the, the figure I've wow. got here is for... Um, just let me get the right figure. It's for... The rest of the UK, so leaving out Scotland, but it's similar in Scotland. Twenty-six pound an hour is the average male wage in IT, real estate, and finance. That is how high it is, and for women, it's only sixteen pound an hour. Wow! Yeah, wow. The same. I mean, does, doesn't that, that remind is. you, though, of that report that came out about Hollywood gender pay gap? Yes, because we were talking about this, weren't we? Yeah. Yes, yeah. I mean, the, in Hollywood, the people, people are earning millions, mm. but there's a big million, you know, 40 million pound pay gap or something between the top earning male Hollywood actor and the top earning female actor. Yeah, so 64.5 million top male, and that's for Dwayne Johnson. Dwayne the Rock Johnson. In that's the Rock. Uh, Jennifer Lawrence, who's been so, so she's so high profile. She's yeah. so, does she have two Oscars? I, I mean, she definitely has one. Yeah. Uh, 46 million. Yeah. yeah. Oh. So it's way below. I mean, he's not even an actor, Stephen. He's not even. I would a, argue. Well, he's he's uh, well. He's I would. Stage. Well, do you know what? If you want to argue with Dwayne the Rock Johnson, <laughs> I, he, <laughs> if he tells me he's an actor, he's an actor. Well, I worked. I worked in wrestling. He's actually extremely polite. He's very nice. So I don't know if he deserves to um, earn twenty million more. No, no, um, no. It's in too much anyway. Than Jennifer Sixty Lawrence. million. That's okay, quiz is going crazy, on. Yeah. So, yes. what about food and beverages? Uh, what's the difference? Yes, yeah. So, um, if you come back to wait, you know, mm. producing food, McDonald's. I, 20, yeah, 26. 20. No, 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 no. It's only a 7% pay gap. What? Yes, the average pay is around £10.90 for men and £10.10 10 for women. So there's hardly any pay gap. Right. Now, yeah, the reason is a lot of them are on that floor. They're on that minimum wage floor or just right. above it. And then there's a few rising above yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, outliers, yeah. Also, another thing is the careers in that area are very different. So in your career in food and beverages, you might actually have 20 years on one wage and just in one job. And you'd, you know, you'd be proud of that job title. You'd be mm. running that bar. Mm. You'd know exactly how everything works. Um, so I have absolute respect for all workers, and I don't think these wages should be so different. Well, so there's 7%, <laughs> is that mm. what you said? Sorry. 7%. Between. So a small pay gap. Compared to, 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 um, to 40%, 40, no, 40% in IT. In IT 40% yeah. in okay, IT. Okay, last one, last one. Tourism. What do you think it is in tourism? Um, I told you the male wage. I'd tell you the male wage. Okay, seventeen pound an hour. Seventeen pound an hour for yeah. male. Yeah. Um, so that's like fishing guides and people that run I'm museums. I'm off at maths now, trying to work it back. I would guess twenty percent. Uh, it's higher. Oh. Uh, well, I I I, I saw really? that it's nine pound an hour. So that's 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 nine? yeah, nine pound an nine hour for ladies. Hour yeah. for women, it's nothing wrong yeah. with your side. It is a forty-four no, exactly. percent pay gap. Absolutely. 44. Yeah, I'm afraid so. No, I do you yeah. know what I was for some reason I don't even know. I was gonna th I thought you were gonna say actually this is the one area it flips the other way yeah. for some no, reason. No, there's no area where it flips. There's the no only area, area where it flips is part time work. So I'm afraid, I hate to say this for men out there, but if you work in part time jobs, the employer often pays you less just because you're part time and it's so unfair. Mm. It has nothing to do with what, what your skills are or what your experience is or how, how mm. useful you are. It's just unfair and it's actually illegal. So if you had two groups of workers in a museum, say, the full-time and the part-time, and they're all called cashier, you must pay them the same hourly wage. So the part-time earn less per week, but uh, we do our pay gap figures yeah. on the hourly. Yeah. Your hourly, yeah. yeah. Can, can you work out your hourly yeah. wage? Yeah. You just yeah. have to kind of get your... I'm still shocked at 44%. Get your, I can't believe that. Yeah. And 40 in IT. Yeah. Um, so when is when do the changes come into place again? Did you say, well, April, we have to reveal this? And yeah. this, is every, this is right across the board, isn't well, it? Well, not, not Scotland. So Scotland already has some pay gap reporting. And we have some experience from there to work with. And of course, what happens is some companies just get on board for better employment practices, um, even with without bringing the unions into it, the, the company itself can decide, okay, we're going to have more transparency, put a website up with all the different wage levels in different mm. job categories. And by you know, giving information about promotion and career development, training, uh, just make it open to everybody. And th that actually encourages women a lot. The reason sure. for the bonuses going to men is mainly through sort of secret arrangements and you know just quiet bargaining. I was going to say what's the um what are the kind of excuses that are, are being put forward is it the same kind of you know women are more likely to have to leave ah, a Ah yeah or? yeah. Is it no, the, same the, kind the of classic ex excuse is the way a, co a Tory talks about this the way a conservative sees it. What they say and I have seen it in the papers this week they say 
if a woman's earning less and working part time, it's clearly because she does less for the firm. She has less productivity. <laughs> you know, the wage shows that she has less productivity. And if someone else is earning more, male or female, they're obviously earning what they deserve. Mm. But this is called the individual approach to productivity, and it's wrong. It's wrong in the sense that individuals don't do productivity, it's the group that makes the whole thing work together. So some manager just claims they're part of it, uh, very often males, claim that it's their work and somebody underneath is silenced and just has to accept the lower wages. It's a power thing. Sure. Yeah. It's the knock-on effect as well because obviously it's not just the actual practicality of, mm. of uh, how you know, not good it is to, to be receiving less wages. Yeah. But um, just even that, you know, the support sort of networks, I think, break down for women when they're in these situations. They're, they're, well, it's, it's more hard. when you go they into motherhood, They have to fight harder, Fiona. don't they? they it, it seems to be when they get, so it, at the age of having a child now is around 26 to 35. I had one at 36. And it's then that you lose your network and it's then that you maybe change jobs and downgrade. So a lot of the evidence has been that after that time, a, an individual woman's pay gap rises. But as I said, the conservative view is well that's justified because she's been out in the labor market mm. um, but I don't see it that way at all y it should be purely looking at what her job is and then pay her according to that sure. job and if that was the case then we wouldn't see these pay gaps sure we really wouldn't Wendy thanks very much for bringing that into yeah. us so um, yeah. we It'll be interesting to see now what's revealed. Oh, it'll be fun. It, uh, We're going to have some fun. It's going to yeah. go on for years. <laughs> Corbyn wants to have it for firms of 25 and over. So almost all firms would have right. to give their pay wow, that would be amazing. Yeah. Name, yeah. name yeah. and shame. Yes. <laughs> Thanks very much, Wendy. Um, we're going to go for a quick break, but when we come back, St uh, Stephen will have his something to say. We'll see you soon. <laughs>